Yes. Hmm. Sri Guru Maharaj explains, Nanda Maharaj, he, he was an emperor, being the king of Braj, the abode of Krishna. Okay? He was a true emperor of Krishna's abode. Donc, Guru Maharaj expliquait que Nanda Maharaj était l'empereur du royaume de Krishna. And Mother Yashoda, Empress, Divine Empress. Et Yashoda était l'impératrice divine. Mm -hmm. And the very meaning of the name Nanda, as Guru Maharaj explains, it is coming from the root word in Sanskrit, Nandana, means something which pleases, which brings so much pleasure to the heart. Divine pleasure to the heart. Le, la signification du nom Nanda veut dire celui qui amène tellement de plaisir euh, au cœur. Mm. So, Ananda, directly connected. The word Nanda is directly connected with the term Anandam. Nanda Ananda. est directement connecté avec le terme Ananda. Mm. It's divine bliss. Ananda. Le, le, le la félicité éternelle. So someone whose heart was filled with the with the divine bliss of Krishna, ecstatic love of Krishna, hmm, who is the king of the world of ecstatic love of Krishna is Nanda. Donc celui qui a le cœur rempli de divin de la divine félicité, c'est le roi du royaume de Krishna. Nanda. Ananda, Nanda, Nandana, Nandita Atma, all coming from the same Sanskrit root. Ils viennent term. tous de Sanskrit term. De la même racine Sanskrit. Mm. And also one who, who pleases the heart of Krishna, who gives so much you know, joy and Pleasure to the heart of Krishna, also called Nanda. Celui qui amène tellement de joie et de plaisir à Krishna mm. s'appelle aussi Nanda. Mm. So that's how this is the derivative meaning of the term Nanda. That uh, holding one who is holding nectar of the bliss, blissful love of Krishna. Heart. Donc celui qui tient le, le plaisir et la félicité de Krishna dans son cœur. Because Ananda also coming from the Ladini, Anandang se Ladini, so closely connected. Krishna's three phases of manifesting: Sambit, Sandhini, Ladini. Okay, Satchit, Anandam. Ananda est aussi très connecté avec Ladini. De Ananda. Hmm. And we find Simati Radha Thakurani is living in the house of Sinanda Maharaj, okay, as his daughter-in-law. Radha habite dans la maison de Nanda Maharaj comme sa belle-fille. The personification, Simati Radha Thakurani is the personification of all Ladini, of, of Ananda Shakti, potency of ecstasy. Radharani est la personnification de l'Adini Shakti, la, la personnification of all, uh, divine ecstasy. La personnification de toute l'extase <coughs> divine. Hmm. So, si la Guru Maharaj quoted, on time quoted a verse. Suti mapare smitimitari bhajantu bharatu bhavavita ahomiha nandanga bandi jasha lindi paranga brahma. Guru Maharaj was actually very attached to quote all these verses to glorify Nanda Maharaj. Guru Maharaj était très attaché à citer tous ces versets pour glorifier Nanda Maharaj. Raghupati Upadhyay said, 
quoting Rupa, Raghupati Upadhyay, Guru Maharaj explained the way he explained to Mahaprabhu, said that I don't know, I don't know the injunctions or instructions of so many other scriptures so much. I don't understand always, I don't understand or follow them very well. I don't feel much interest to follow many external kinds of recommendation of the scripture. But I love to follow hmm, Nanda Maharaj in whose courtyard the Parang Brahma got personified and crawling in his courtyard. Ah, it's wonderful, wonders of the wonder. Uh, who was saying that? <laughs> Raghupati Upadhyay saying that, explaining about Nanda Maharaj, I repeat, yes. <laughs> that I am not, I don't really feel interested so, so much. So, uh, Raghupati? Raghupati Upadhyay. Raghupati Upadhyay Jizesa, the Nanda Maharaj. Can you repeat? <laughs> then, mm, that, I am not, you are saying, I am not really sure whether I am really interested in following the injunctions and the recommendations different types of instructions uh, from different scriptures. Il n'était pas très sûr si il avait envie de suivre les recommandations des différentes écritures. I don't really feel so much attraction to follow all different types of injunctions of the scriptures so much about following a spiritual life. Il n'était pas très attiré à, à suivre les instructions de suivre une vie spirituelle. Okay. But I am, I am very much attracted to follow in the footsteps of the Sinanda Maharaj, great king of Braja. Mais il était vraiment attiré à suivre dans les pas du grand roi Nanda Maharaj. And I wholeheartedly glorify, I wholeheartedly chant, sing his glories. Et de tout son cœur, il aimait chanter ses gloires. Hmm. Okay, and rather his wonderful, astounding glory. Ses gloires complètement étonnantes et merveilleuses. In whose courtyard, because in his courtyard, you know, the supreme Parang Brahma, that, that all pervading universal superpower. Supreme Parang Brahma, that omniscient, omnipotent, supreme being, got personified in the form of a beautiful baby and crawling, crawling in his courtyard as, he, as his son. Parce How could he do that? How could he have that qualification? Because he had the quality to have in his court God, the person supreme, who was on four pattes. How is it possible? Hmm. I have never seen such wonder of the wonders. I've never. That he captured Parang Brahma, Supreme Parang Brahma, in such a way, crawling in his courtyard. Il a capturé <laughs> le Parang Brahma qui marchait, dans sa, qui marchait à quatre pattes dans sa cour. Okay. I, I pay my wholehearted obeisance, full prostrated obeisance to the lotus feet of that Nanda Maharaj, who, okay, and I, uh, I chant his wonderful, most wonderful glory, because, you know, Je who has donc, captivated Parang Brahma in such a way. J'offre donc mes hommages à Nanda Maharaj qui a capturé le petit Krishna dans sa cour d'une telle manière merveilleuse. In a similar way, Guru Maharaj also chants the glory of Mother Jashoda. Yeah, he, he glorifies also the glory of Mother Jashoda. Actually, actually King Gurudev. Parikshita asked Sukadev Goswami with great wonderstruck mind and heart. Roi Parikshit a demandé à Sukadev Goswami avec uh, wonderstruck, <laughs> struck um, by wonder. How could it be possible? Wonderstruck. Mind and heart, hmm, that Nanda Kima Karodu Brahman, Seoeva Mahodayam, Yashodaba Mahabhaga, Papuja Shastanamari. 
what what Srila Nanda Maharaj did in his life that he received such highest of all the highest fortune in this way and what Mother Jashoda did in her life she also she was also blessed with the highest of the all super excellent fortune in her life that supreme parang brahma was drinking her milk qu'est-ce qu'a bien pu faire nanda maharaj dans sa vie pour avoir une telle fortune d'avoir krishna comme fils et qu'est-ce qu'a bien pu faire maria shoda pour avoir cette extrême miséricorde d'avoir krishna qui qui boit son lait that the parang brahma so captivated to so, so much so that uh, taking taking the father's shoes on his head once father said can you bring my son oh, there are there are my shoes can you bring immediately ran parang brahma running to take off his father's shoes on his head and in a tottering walking step bringing to <laughs> father and father became so overwhelmed with please oh my son is so very good son so loyal to my loyal, loyal to his father and the maharaj demanded to his son his son son who marched at a pace to bring him his shoes and he put them on his head and he walked like that in the middle of the night and his father was so happy and so proud of him i have got oh by bless of supreme lord see sir <laughs> Nanda Maharaj was thinking, by the grace of Supreme Lord, I have been so blessed that I have received such a good son. <laughs> Nanda Maharaj disait, j'ai été béni par le Seigneur d'avoir tellement un bon fils. See, when Supreme Lord was present there, he was thinking, I'm so blessed by the Supreme Lord. Alors que le Seigneur Lord, était juste devant lui, il disait, ah, je suis béni par le Seigneur. Such a nice son, so loyal to father. Il est si loyal à son mm. père. This I see. and parang brahma sometimes lovingly demanding to the suck the breast milk of mother jashoda if mother would give him little bit on the floor without to take care of other homely activities parang brahma krishna gopalo getting angry et and quand, breaking things <laughs> all over quand il avait faim et que mère yashoda elle le laissait par terre il devenait très en colère et il cassait les choses autour de lui and breaking started immediately and reaction was breaking different things all around his body why mother kept me down Et that was more important to take care of the upsurging milk or other things and i was hungry i became so hungry i am drinking milk and mother did not care for me left me and took care became angry and gopal started breaking things Il se dit, mais c'est quoi qui est plus important C'est mmh. de me donner à boire. Elle était en train de me nourrir et elle part, elle s'occupe d'autre chose. Je ne suis, suis pas important. Alors il commence à casser tout ce qui est autour de lui. Guru Maharaj explained, My Lord Damodaro, you know the, how the beautiful name Damodaro came. Mmh. Damodari Jasha Iti Damodaro. And a Lord bound by strong rope of pure devotional love mon god avait expliqué d'où venait ce le mot damodar c'est euh, c'est celui qui est euh, entouré d'une corde de d'amour pur yeah the supreme lord who is helplessly tied around his waist with the strong rope of pure loving devotion devotional love of mother jashoda called damodar c'est le seigneur suprême qui est attaché euh, helplessly sans sans aide sans ouais sans défense par cette euh, par cette euh, corde d'amour dévotionnel damodar beautiful go hari bol now i am directly directly coming to to honor the request of maharaj je vais honorer la requête de maharaj and ali bol ali bol ali bol i don't know where from to start you know <laughs> it will take days and nights days and nights je to complete je sais pas comment ça va prendre des nuits et des jours Hmm. 
โอเคอินเอนัตเซลอเมอินบรีฟศิลากรุมหาจีมัสซิฟุลีทรีเทดมีเอสเออสปิริตูอัลซันสอ The way I grew up in relation to my Guru Maharaj from my childhood, not from the beginning, not like guru and disciple, mm. but like real, you know, father and son in a spiritual sense. En résumé, en fait, mon mon Guru Maharaj me traitait vraiment comme un fils spirituel, et depuis le début de notre relation, c'était pas trop comme un maître spirituel et un disciple, mais vraiment comme un père et un fils. You know, before why I'm saying that before I came to understand. The gravity or the real nature of guru and disciple or big relationship. Just we developed a very spontaneous loving relationship between us. Avant de comprendre vraiment la ce que c'était la relation entre un maître spirituel et un disciple, on a spontanément développé une, une grande relation tous les deux. And that was very easy. An invaluable, priceless relation. C'était très facile et, et une relation sans prix. A spiritual father and spiritual son, a father and son. Un, un père spirituel et un fils spirituel. Un père that's un how fils. I have. That's how my relation, my feelings, all my feelings of relationship began with Guru Maharaj. I just saw him as my very loving father, spiritual father, and he also treated me as spiritual son. C'est comme ça que ma relation et mes sentiments envers lui ont commencé. Je le voyais juste comme mon père et il me traitait comme son fils. And then later on, when I was more matured by age, when I was around 12 years or 13, 14 years old, then I, I gradually came to realize uh, the profound nature, profound nature of. Spiritual guru-disciple relationship, or ontological in an ontological way. Et à l'adolescence, j'ai commencé à comprendre ce que c'était vraiment la relation ontologique entre un maître spirituel et un disciple. Yeah. Once I came to understand that, then both relationships, both streams of relationship, got merged together, unified. Et quand j'ai commencé à comprendre ça, nos, ces deux relations de père et fils et disciple et maître. On se sont scindés en une seule. Relationship, that of spiritual father and sp uh, son, and the relationship, that of spiritual master and disciple. Oui, cette relation de disciple et maître et fils et, et père. Hmm. Although Guru Maharaj kindly gave me a room very close to his own bhajan kutir in Chaitanya Sarasat Mat. Il m'avait donné une chambre très près de la sienne à la Chaitanya Saraswatmat. It was very close, very like a, maybe starting from that uh, wall, maybe slightly distant from this wall. Okay, my he, I had a room in Guru Maharaj Temple, very close to his bhajan kuti, very near. With attached bathroom facility. On, on avait une chambre très près euh, de son. J'avais une chambre très près de son bajan kuntir et on avait euh, la salle de bain euh, jointe. Yes. Although, okay. Although it was my room, okay. So, rewarded to me by Sri Guru Maharaj, but hardly I stayed in my room. That was simply there, as I was just saying. You know. Of keeping my books, study books, or all the holy scriptures, some beds, some of my things, but at least 16 to 18 hours I used to spend with Guru Maharaj, around Guru Maharaj, in his bhajan kuti. That was my room. Donc j'avais bien une chambre qui m'était accordée, mais en fait j'y laissais mes livres, mes affaires. J'avais un lit, mais en fait de 15 heures à 18 heures par jour, j'étais dans la chambre avec mon Guru Maharaj. And That's how I lived my life in relation to Sri Guru Maharaj for years, not one or two years. How many? At least 15 years, around 10, 10, 12, 14 years. J'ai vécu comme ça. Yeah, more than that, more than that. 16 to 17 years, I lived like that. 16 à 17 ans. 
practically living around Guru Maharaj in his room, even during night time, I also used to sleep. In Guru en fait, je, je vivais presque dans sa chambre. Il y, a, il y a bien des nuits où je dormais as, dans sa chambre. As, as his personal attendant, somebody needed to stay in Sri Guru Maharaj's room during night time. You know, he he was already old at that time. So, as his personal attendant, someone is required, and I was chosen. So, quand il fallait quelqu'un yeah. pour s'occuper de lui, comme il était assez âgé, j'étais son personnel, son son assistant personnel. So, je apart from the time. I had to go out to have my school and college study all this university whenever I mean the time I used to be at Chaitanya Sarasatamat I used to be mostly with Guru Maharaj around Guru Maharaj alors yes. bien sûr je suis allé faire mes études à l'université mm. mais uh, dès que je rentrais j'étais tout le temps avec mon Guru Maharaj mm. So much. Sometimes some devotees also became little envious of me that Guru Maharaj arranged for me a, such a fine room, so close to his bhajan kuti. Nobody got that. Il y a des devotees qui étaient un peu jaloux de moi parce que j'avais une chambre juste à côté de son bhajan kuti et personne n'avait ça. And Guru Maharaj specially gave me that room, thinking that it's like a short distance. Even if I am in room, if he if he calls me out, suppose if he just calls me, he could he could easily get me. If you would have called me, Nimai, <laughs> Nimai, where are you? I am there. I could hear and I could come immediately. Guru Maharaj, il m'avait donné cette chambre comme ça. Il avait juste à à m'appeler et je l'entendais. My previous Brahmachari name was Nimai. Nimai Shundar. <laughs> and that very name, that is another story, that very name was given by Guru Maharaj. It's not, it's not the name given by my biological parents, oh. but it was chosen by Guru Maharaj for me. Nimai Shundar. Ce nom n'a pas été donné par mes parents, mais par mon Guru Dev. Nimai Shundar. And what was your name given by your parents? <coughs> Actually, parents accepted the same name given by their guru. So when that you were became, a baby, he gave okay. your name when you were a baby. It was some other name, Jagodananda. Jagodananda. That was the name given by parents. But Sila Guru Maharaj <coughs> selected the name after Mahaprabhu. Okay, Nimai Sundar. So then that became my registered name, and the name given by my parents were like. Secondary, not registered. That name got registered. <laughs> Donc après, son nom a été officiellement Anima Sunda. Mm. Okay. <laughs> See, so Guru Maharaj already planned out to make me the devotee of real Anima Sunda, original Anima Sunda from the beginning in my childhood, by giving me, blessing me with such name. He was nicely planning to make me a devotee of real Anima Sunda. En me donnant un tel nom, il avait planifié de me, me, que je sois le serviteur du, du vrai Nimai Sundar. Original Nimai Sundar, which is Lord Gauranga. Hmm. Of course, Guru Maharaj, Guru Maharaj lovingly gave me many names, not just one name. Avec plein d'amour, il m'a donné plein de noms, pas juste un nom. <laughs> you know, sometimes. Many a times he used to lovingly call me by other names also, like Nimbaditta, Nimbhatta, then Nimbarko, all by Nim, Nim, okay, connected with Mahaprabhu. You know, Nimbaditta, they are, they are the names of great Acharyas, Nimbaditta, Nimbarko, you know, Nimbarko Sampradaya, Nimbhatta, another great saint, in this way. Just uh, he had some spontaneous, spontaneous feelings of love, loving, loving ways to call me by different names. Spontanément, avec amour, il m'appelait plein de noms, commençant par Nim pour appeler Gauranga. 
why did you ask me to do this favor? Now, <laughs> see, I have to speak all these and it might sound like I'm making self-glorification, yeah. self-aggrandizement. Please forgive me. Il dit, pourquoi est-ce que tu m'as demandé ça <laughs> J'ai l'impression que je suis en train de me glorifier moi-même. You, 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 you are putting me in a difficult situation now. <laughs> oh, how to do this favor? Hmm. Okay, let me speak other sides then to balance. Guru Maharaj also chastised me many times. <laughs> He m'a aussi châtié plusieurs fois. <laughs> mm, no, On no va more, balancer, no more. il a dit. <laughs> okay, no more praiseworthy things only. Now I'm coming to the side of chastisement, how I was chastised by Guru Maharaj. Je vais vous raconter comment il m'a châtié aussi. Oh, sometimes Guru Maharaj liked to chastise me a lot also. Il aimait beaucoup me châtier. Because... Uh, <clears throat> In my juvenile time, you know, in my young days, I was so naughty also, so naughty and playful. Sometimes Guru Mahaj was asking me to do something. I would be respectful enough to Guru Maharaj, but mind going here and there or running everywhere. So, Alors, quand j'étais jeune, j'étais un coquin et j'adorais jouer. Et, et quand il me disait de faire quelque chose, alors j'étais très respectueux, mais mon mental, il allait décider de là. And I was so attracted to sporting You know, my mind would be, is to be in a sporting mood and playful mood. So I listened to Guru Maharaj, then I was attracted to some playful ways, then Guru Maharaj was waiting, he asked <laughs> me to do. Then at some point, came, Guru Maharaj, why you, you, you make me wait? Why you don't do that immediately? Like Alors, I said, forgive me, Guru Maharaj. Quand mon Guru Dev, il me disait de faire quelque chose, alors euh, je lui disais oui, oui, et, et après j'avais vraiment envie de jouer, et j'étais très joueur, et après il me regardait, il me disait, mais pourquoi est-ce que tu ne fais pas ce que je suis en train de te dire Alors je lui disais, oui, 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 Gourdev. Sometimes, he used to softly chastise me, because every, every day I could not get up during Mongol Arati time. Alors j'arrivais pas à me réveiller tous les jours à Mongol Arctique, alors du you know, coup... Il me In my boyhood, young, youthful boyhood. So, and I was, I was sleeping right inside the room of Guru Maharaj. Alors, je dormais dans sa chambre. So Guru Maharaj used to get up very early, Et early at dawn. Lui, il se réveillait très, très tôt. Okay, around uh, four o'clock. And I was still sleeping. And he wanted to train me up, okay, to wake up early in the morning in the Brahma Muhurta. And I was still... So attached to his sleeping. Il voulait m'entraîner à me réveiller très tôt. Alors, il, il voulait me réveiller à 4 heures du matin, mais moi, j'étais trop attaché à dormir. And then, Guru Maharaj was calling me and calling me, Nimai Otho, <laughs> Nimai Otho, Mongol Arithi Jetavi, oh, Nimai, now get up, getting up, okay. And Just wash your hands and face, change dress and go to attend Mongol Aruti. Il dit, Nima, Nima, lève-toi, lève-toi, c'est le temps de se préparer pour te laver, va te préparer. So some days I used to quickly get up. At that dawn time, at dawn. At some other days I could not get <laughs> up. I was so sleepy, feeling sleepy. Although Guru Maharaj was calling, I was still sleeping. Il y a des jours où j'arrivais à me des jours où j'étais trop fatigué, même s'il m'appelait, mm. j'arrivais pas à me lever. Still sleeping. Uh, and then at some point, so Guru Mahaj would mm, come out with a <laughs> little loud and chastising voice. I'm calling you again and again, still you are sleeping, get up now. Et à un moment, il avait sa grosse voix, il disait, mais j'arrête pas de t'appeler mm. encore et encore et tu te lèves pas, lève-toi. And that worked. That used to work. And immediately, <laughs> et ça, ça Bien. <laughs> Je me levais immédiatement. So long, he was sweetly, lovingly, sweetly <laughs> calling me, Nimai, get up, get up, time for getting up, joining Mongolia. I was just taking opportunity <laughs> of his soft ways. When he became a bit strong with me, with strong voice, then I thought, oh, no more, no more, I need to get up. I got <laughs> tout gentiment, en me disant, allez, Nima, il faut que tu te lèves et tout. Et quand il prenait sa grosse voix, et euh, là, je me levais directement. Et parfois, many times, before, uh, ok, many days, before Mongol Aruti, ok, 
like, oh, it so happened, it so happened like no, that I just got up during Mangal Aruti when Mangal Aruti already started and no time to go to Mangal Aruti. Then Guru Mahaj would simply ask me, okay, was your hands and face, everything change and then come back to me, okay, in this way. Alors des fois, ben, je me rappelle dans Mangal Aruti qu'il avait déjà commencé. Alors du coup, il me disait, ok, ben, va te laver le, les visages, les mains, va te changer et reviens me voir. Then I came back. Then, in the early in the morning, <coughs> he would ask me to read Bhagavad Gita from Bhagavad Gita. For months, I did that. It's And he would be listening, sitting on his bed, <coughs> chanting, japa, and listening to. Et très tôt le matin, il me demandait de lire la Bhagavad Gita, et lui, il était assis sur son lit. Bhagavad Gita recited by me. So, what happened? <laughs> Many, many verses of the Bhagavad Gita just came into my heart. I just got by heart automatically by, because of reciting for Srila Guru Maharaj in force, the early mornings. À force de lire pour lui tous les, euh, tous les matins, bah, j'ai appris par cœur plein de versets comme ça. I didn't have to make any separate endeavor. Didn't have to make any separate planning to study Many, uh, many of the main verses of Bhagavad Gita because I was chanting aloud right in the early, early in the morning and Guru Mahaj was listener, he was listening to. So that way I got many, many verses and the most important verses of Bhagavad Gita by heart. Donc ça n'a pas été un effort pour moi, je n'ai pas dû planifier pour étudier, euh, juste en récitant comme ça les versets. Ils sont rentrés dans mon cœur et je les ai appris par cœur. Lord Nishinga Dev est behind me, listening. So he should not feel that uh, oh, he is behind. Of course, I'm little corner. It's okay, he will forgive me. Like, Merciful, forgive me. <laughs> okay. So, and Srila so Guru Maharaj, actually, you know, the fact was that Srila so Guru Maharaj knew the whole Srimad Bhagavad Gita by heart. So he did not, he did not really need to further listen all those verses, like to re-memorize everything. It's not like that. But he was teaching me, he was engaging me to study Bhagavad Gita in that way and himself playing the role of a listener. En fait, mon Guru Maharaj, il connaissait déjà toute la Bhagavad Gita, il n'avait pas besoin de l'écouter. Mais en me faisant faire ça, il était en train de m'apprendre à les apprendre. But I knew Srila Guru Maharaj had all the verses, I mean most, most, almost all the verses of Bhagavad Gita in his kantha, okay, in his memory and heart. I mean, Even from his younger days, youthful days, because he was already born and brought up in a high-class Bhattacharya Brahmin family, scholarly Brahmin family, Vedic Pandit. So he already got most of the, almost all the verses of Bhagavad Gita. Depuis son très jeune âge, comme il a été élevé dans une famille brahmanique, il mm. connaissait déjà par cœur quasiment tous les versets de la Bhagavad Gita. Before he came, came to join Gauriya Mat, came to No. So, again, so there's two purposes behind making me read, chant aloud the verses of Bhagavad Gita. Number one pur purpose number one, that Srila Guru Maharaj loved to hear the verses of Bhagavad Gita again and again, verses of Bhagavad Gita, then later on Srimad Bhagavatam again and again, and relish, relish them in his heart. Donc il y avait deux raisons pour lesquelles il me faisait réciter ces, ces mantras. Et la première était qu'il adorait entendre réciter ces mantras, il adorait euh, les prendre dans son cœur. Et la deuxième raison, c'était pour m'engager à mm -hmm. apprendre la Bhagavad Gita. Et si je would make any mistake in pronunciation, he would immediately rectify. Et à chaque fois que je me, je me trompais, 
Dans les versets, dans le sanskrit, il me rectifiait immédiatement. Non, vous n'avez pas chanté ce verset dans une propre Védic way, avec uh, uh, the original style of Védic prononciation. So you should correct yourself in this way. Sa would... manière de prononcer n'était pas totalement uh, la bonne manière uh, védique, donc il me corrigeait. So I, as I As I look back, relate back, recollect, I feel, I find so much indebted, I feel so much you know, love and care of Srila Guru Maharaj behind. That also, that he was so particular, he was listening my ways of, you know, chanting the verses of Bhagavad Gita, ways of intonation, even pronunciation, everything, so carefully. That I, if, as soon as I made any mistake, okay, in the process, and he would be catching, catching me, and correct me immediately. Quand j'y pense, je me sens tellement endetté de tout l'amour et l'attention qu'il avait quand il m'écoutait, et que dès que je me trompais, il me corrigeait immédiatement. Mm. Right. So, and you know, Sir Guru Maharaj was very particular about doing things in the right, right way, very correct way. No com wrong compromise in any way. Il, il était très particulier dans le sens où il voulait pas compromis, euh, rien, pas de, pas de compromis. Il voulait que tout soit fait bien. So, so, so according to his nature, so he also wanted me to read, to read and chant all the verses of Bhagavad Gita in a very correct fashion. Very correct, okay, right way, no mistake. Donc c'était vraiment sa nature de vraiment qu'il fallait que je dise les versets d'une très bonne manière, sans mm. erreur de. Mm. He was particular about that I should have pronounced all these verses. Okay, I should have, uh, uh, I should have. Uh, pronounced all these slokas, verses of Bhagavad Gita, following the original way of Vedic intonation, original art, suis... art of Vedic pronunciation. Il que je suive exactement l'intonation et la prononciation de l'origine védique. And he would make sure that I understand the meaning of each and every verse I was chanting. Et il faisait bien attention que je comprenais bien chaque verset que je récitais. Sometimes, When I could not understand uh, the meanings of those certain verses of Bhagavad Gita just by reading the Bengali translation, then Sila Guru Mahaj would be kindly explaining to me with so much illumination in each, every meaning of the slokas. And it was a wonderful experience. Et quand parfois je n'arrivais pas à comprendre la traduction Bengali, il m'expliquait uh, merveilleusement ces versets avec tant d'illumination. Mm -hmm. So, and so that's how I have also learned. You know, it was all all credit goes to my divine master, Sila Guru Maharaj, that you know I I could learn to pronounce all the Sanskrit slokas in a very correct way following the original art of Vedic pronunciation, Vedic ways. And the meanings of so many of the verses became so clear in my mind and heart due to Guru Maharaj's you know, merciful illuminations on that, making me realize. Tout le crédit de la manière dont je prononce les shokas vient à mon Gurudev et la manière que je les comprends vient aussi par uh, tous les apports qu'il m'a donné d'une manière illuminée. Oh, now I'm trying to look for more events of chastisement. <laughs> Otherwise, there will be so much glorification I don't want. He cherches d'autres moments où il s'est fait châtier parce que sinon il y a trop de glorification sur lui, il veut pas. And others will think, hearing this recording, oh, Maharaj is just glorifying himself in relation to Guru Maharaj. But what can I do? It's all the reality, oui, truth. Tout, what tout can I do? Tout le monde va croire que j'essaie de me glorifier en relation de mon Guru Dev, mais qu'est-ce que je peux faire? Okay, so if I have to speak the truth, 
as it is, then I have no choice. I have to. So better finding out the events of chastisement. Alors j'essaie de chercher mm, le moment remember. où je me suis fait châtier. Krishna, he went chastise me. There, there are not, not many events of chastisement. <laughs> <rire> c'est pas arrivé trop de fois alors il a mm. du mal à trouver <rire> All right, so he chastised me uh, sometimes when I was not able to get up for Mongol Aruti on time ok then uh, alors il m'a châtié quand j'arrivais pas à arriver à l'heure au Mongol Aruti ok Then sometimes, then, you know, at one point, I used to feed Guru Maharaj as his personal servitor. I used to bring the night prasadam to Guru Maharaj on time. Donc, uh, uh, en tant que son serviteur personnel, je lui ai amené son prasad le soir. Time was around 8:30 in the evening. À peu près 8 heures le soir. And yes. And sometimes, I used to be a bit late to bring the Chana prasadam uh, on time. Et parfois j'étais un petit peu en retard à 8h30. I tell you frankly because what happened I was uh, sometimes I was very much attracted to listen to some music of the radio. <laughs> Alors je vais vous dire la vérité en fait parfois j'écoutais un peu j'étais très attiré par la musique euh, mm. sur la radio. Some radio songs <laughs> based on ragas. <laughs> C'était so, des chansons basées sur les ragas. So sometimes there would be some a special you know, radio programs on some classical songs based on rago during the evening time. Okay. Yeah. And I used to listen <laughs> to them but it was the same time and around the same time I was supposed to bring prasadam to Guru Maharaj. Alors à l'horaire où je devais amener le prasad à Guru Maharaj, il y avait cette émission de radio <laughs> sur les ragas que j'aimais, la musique classique que j'aimais beaucoup. See, the radio programs are also taking place at the same similar time. So I thought, okay, let me listen, let me. Okay. Alors il se disait, euh, bon, même si c'est à la même heure, je vais quand même écouter un petit peu. So, sometimes, I just, uh, I just. I take it a little bit granted, okay. So I was just take it up. I would, I was just take it this opportunity for like grant. <laughs> so often, I would just take it for granted, like some license kind. Mm, that uh, okay. I'll just quickly listen to some. Uh, very nice, uh, attractive songs, okay, you know, played in the radio, and then I will just manage. After listening a little bit more, then I'll go to take, I'll take take up the prasad, you know, take the prasad to Guru Maharaj. Alors je me disais, ah oh, ça va, j'ai juste en écouté quelques mm. unes, et après vite vite j'irai chercher son prasad. <laughs> you know, so I was in, I was in that kind of mood because I was so attracted to. As I was so attracted to my Guru Maharaj, also side by side, I, at some point I got so attracted to the world of music, raga, raginis, songs, you know. So I would just, I would have taken some kind of license. Okay, uh, let me listen now for a while, then I will take, bring prasadam to Guru Maharaj right on time. But what happened, as I kept on listening, I was absorbed in that, And the time was flying. And I suddenly said, oh, it's, I'm a little late, going, running. Uh, and Guru Mahaj was waiting. Disappointed, because I was a bit late. Alors en fait, euh, j'étais tellement attirée par cette musique, même si j'étais très attirée par Guru Mahaj. Donc je me disais, bon, ça va, je vais en écouter, et après je serai quand même à l'heure. Et je ne me rendais pas compte et euh, des fois quand je regardais l'heure, ah, il était tard et je me mettais à courir et quand je l'avais il était déçu avec moi. Parce que le Guru Maharaj était juste en train de prendre son dîner, le chana prasad et un peu de 
pasted barley mixed with milk. I was the one selected okay, for that service to bring prasad to Guru Maharaj around the 30, okay. Donc c'était moi qui devais le faire, c'était mon service d'amener du, du lait et du barley, c'est une céréale, le barley. It's a cereal, barley. Barley, you know, some job, uh, okay. barley paste. Oh, while it is mixed with pure milk, cow's milk, barley, little sugar added. Du sucre Very de l'orge tasty. avec du, du lait, c'est très bon. Et c'était donc mon service à moi de lui amener à l'heure. And you know, chana, curd, curd milk, you In the, in the boiling hot milk, okay, when you, the hot milk, when you press a lime, like a squeeze a lime, mix up with the lime juice, it, it breaks, milk breaks, mm. you know, that's how the chana from this or from that. So, these two are very favorite, sometimes accompanied by muri, pup rice, you know, Bengali muri. Barley, uh, how to say, barley nectar, I would call it. Some, because milk and barley nectar, freshly made chana, how do you call it, curd? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Paneer, yeah. But, and accompanied by pap rice. Alors, you know, white pap rice. Ils mangeaient du nectar d'orge, donc, mm-hmm. avec... Euh, C'est du lait taillé, en fait. Après, le chana, ouais, c'est, du, c'est du lait caillé, mmh. du lait chaud avec un citron pressé dedans. Et euh, donc, ça, 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 ça devient du, 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 du... Et avec du, du riz soufflé. C'était son, son dîner so, favori. Quand j'ai trouvé que je suis tard, je suis aussi très froid à mon cœur. Et je savais que je suis sûrement going to be chastised. Alors quand, je, quand je voyais l'heure, j'avais un peu peur et je savais mm. que j'allais être sévèrement. Anyway. Euh... Ok. All sensation, some sort of negative sensation already started from downstairs because other disciples of Guru Maharaj were coming to give me the food to bring to Guru Maharaj. They, they were also having a grave face while you late. Didn't say anything to me directly because they would not directly just their facial appearance. <laughs> okay, give, you know, <clears throat> how to say, they just uh, gave me the message, facial appearance. Mm. It's not good with you, it's not, it's not good. You are ready to serve Guru Maharaj. Alors en fait, le châtiment est commencé dès en mm. bas, quand j'arrive, j'ai un en retard en cuisine mm. pour aller chercher le plat. Et là, il ne me châtiait pas directement les dévots, mais il me regardait avec des, une tête tellement sévère parce que j'étais en retard que du coup, je me sentais déjà mal. Bien sûr, ils étaient okay, tous beaucoup plus que moi. So, okay. All right. Like my mother figure, someone, grandmother figure, some father, grandfather figure, kind, very senior. C'était comme des pères et des grands-pères. Anyway, anyway, then what I quickly grab all those in a nice plate, okay? Then almost ran upstairs, okay? Brought those prasad to Guru Maharaj, and then found Guru Maharaj already waiting, sitting. In his easy chair, but sitting in the easy chair. Donc en fait, euh, j'attrapais tout, je mettais dans une belle assiette, et je partais presque en courant dans les escaliers, et je retrouvais là mon Guru Maharaj qui était assis dans sa chaise. Mm. But he was not just he was not just waiting in a normal way. In his, I found often found him chanting some beautiful verses, Sanskrit verses. Okay, to his own self and relishing. Attendant, il n'était pas juste là. En fait, il, il, il se délectait de versets qu'il chantait à lui-même. As soon as I 
arrived with prasadam. Et quand j'arrivais dans sa chambre, son humeur a changé immédiatement et, et il, devient, il devenait comme un gars. So long he was just waiting and releasing some beautiful verses in his own mind and heart. Yes, he knew that I arrived with Prashadam, changed a bit, a guardian smooth. Alors en mm. attendant, en fait, il n'était pas vraiment mm. dérangé, il chantait et tout, mais quand il me voyait, son humeur a changé complètement. And, and asked me, why are you late? You keep me waiting? Why are you late? And before Guru Maj going to say anything, I said, sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry, sorry, Guru Maj, I'm so sorry. I will never do it again. <laughs> <laughs> never happen again. Please forgive me. Il regardait, il me disait, mais pourquoi t'es en retard? Pourquoi tu me fais attendre? Et avant qu'il puisse dire quelque chose d'autre, je disais, pardon, 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 je recommencerai. Pas. Mm. <laughs> mm. Then it took little bit time because Guru Maharaj also became emotional. In this way, why my disciple will? My, You know, my close disciple, uh, treat me like this way, okay? Uh, it's not okay, it's not uh, very fair, it's not fair. So it took some time, sometimes it took a few minutes with Guru Maharaj to manage his emotion. Okay. Um, Ça prenait un moment. Il se disait, mais pourquoi est-ce que mon disciple, pourquoi est-ce qu'il me traite comme ça C'est pas juste. Sometimes he was getting emotional and nicely sentimental, a bit uh, because of his loving claim over me, you know, demand over me, because of his expectation around me that I would do everything actually right with proper attention and respect. And as he was seeing something lacking there, he was doing a bit. Taking, uh, having some emotion for that. For Comme il voulait que je fasse les choses vraiment euh, bien, avec amour, euh, que ça le rendait un peu émotionnel quand je ne faisais pas exactement ce qu'il qu qu attendait de moi. Just few moments. It took, ça prenait juste took few moments. quelques moments. Hmm, to harmonize to a little bit. Very sorry, Guru Maharaj. I'm very, very sorry. I will never do it again. Please forgive me. Then he got very pacified. Okay. Then lovingly accepted everything, Guru Maharaj. Okay. And then he was very happy. He forgot all his uh, so emotional, a little bit anger, everything. In a few moments, he forgot and became very loving again. Okay. Don't do it again. Remember it. Donc pendant quelques moments en colère, mais de la colère plein d'amour. Et euh, comme je disais, pardon, pardon, en quelques instants quand même, il, 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 il oubliait, il disait d'accord, mais le refait pas. Et après tout se passait bien, il me disait viens. Si. Blessings in the form of chastisement, ok j'ai reçu time. des bénédictions en forme de châtiment mm. de temps en temps. Gaur Hari. Else, you know, see, one topic takes so much time. So many, like this, so many events like this in my life. Juste pour décrire memory. une situation, ça me prend tellement de temps et mm. il y a tellement de choses dans ma vie. Did you witness some special time that things happened to Shidamara? Some specific, special moments? Yes. <coughs> Several. Several very mystical, miraculous realizations. Several mystic. I am not going to describe all today, tonight. Je vous les raconterai pas tous mm. aujourd'hui. One I can describe. Je vous en raconterai une. 
during the time while he was engaged in composing that hymn for dhamo deva stotram au moment où il était en train de composer cette hymne pour mahaprabhu mm. yes once i saw because the pr he practically composed i mean i saw most of the composition of premo dhamo deva stotram all the verses do my Uh, in my younger days, Sir Guru Maharaj used to sit on his, sometimes on his easy chair, sometimes on his bed, and absorb in composing the verses, Premadham verses. J'ai assisté à la composition de ces vers. Il le faisait parfois sur sa chaise et parfois dans son lit. And ouais, quand il était jeune. And one day I saw. He wrote. He just wrote a line of the one verse, then second line, then cancelled them, recompose, rewrote, again cancelled them, again recompose. By the three times, he was satisfied. Et un jour, je l'ai vu écrire By the deux third vers. time, he was satisfied. Il a rayé, il a recommencé une autre fois, il a rayé. Et au bout de la troisième fois, il était satisfait. Nyasho pancha varsha purna janma bhoom darshanam Lakha koti loka lubhidha mugdha drishti karshanam Koti kantha krishna nao ghosha bhet ambaram One of the verses, he was composing that verse that day. Okay. From one time, he started. He was writing and cancelling. The same verse. By the third time of writing, he was satisfied. I was seeing, watching him. Donc, regardez où il l'a écrit plusieurs fois. La troisième fois, il était satisfait. The wonderful reality is this: whatever, whatever he was writing, whatever he wrote in the first place, and cancel that verse was wrong. Not that he was cancelling it because he made some mistakes, but he wanted to enhance the mood of his composition. So, although they are all right way, composed in a very right manner, yet he wanted to be more satisfied from the good, from this stage of good to better and better to best. He wanted to. Is it not faux ni mauvais? Ils étaient très bien, mais en fait, ils voulaient qu'ils soient encore plus forts. Donc, ils rayaient et ils voulaient qu'ils soient encore plus profonds. Mm -hmm. So, what happened? Two, two times, the third time, he wrote one line. Now, he started looking at, smiling, smiling with happiness. Okay. Then he just suddenly got up from his bed and started chanting, singing in his own mind the same lila which was going to verse and just started walking, okay, like restlessly, just very enthusiastically. And at some point, his walking became transformed into dancing, dancing in a rhythm. And chanting some verses, those verses being automatically composed from the core of his heart. Okay, miraculous. Not utilizing his poetic abilities. Suddenly, it's just coming up, revealing to his heart, and he was so happy, chant, chanting them. And at some point, he sat down. And wrote them. Alors, quand la 
la troisième fois quand il a lu la phrase, il, est, il a souri, il était tellement heureux. Et il s'est levé, il a commencé à marcher. Et après, ses pas sont devenus Et en fait, d'un coup, il, il s'est mis à chanter. Et en fait, la, le reste du verset lui est venu comme ça. Ce n'est pas venu de, de, de sa propre poésie. De... C'est venu directement. Et il s'est mis à chanter du verre en extase. Et il s'est assis et il a écrit directement tout ce qui, tout ce qui lui était venu. Nobody was around, only myself there. So the Guru Maharaj was completely on his own and myself. Okay, young. Il n'y avait young personne God. autour, il y avait juste moi et lui, j'étais très jeune. Okay. So he did not try to control, control himself beside me because he loves me, some intimate relation, so he would not hide anything. Just very carefree before me, dancing. Chanting and dancing. Il n'essayait pas de se contenter de moi comme on était très intime. Alors il s'est laissé aller à, à danser et, euh, et après il a écrit tout ce qui lui était venu. And then, he wrote, he completed that four lines. That verse was Nashma Barsha Purna Janma Bhumi Darshanam. Lakhakotilokalubidhadrishtikarshanam describing Simon Mahaprabhu come back Mahaprabhu is turning five years turning Shantipura after five years from the time he took Sannyasa Sever raconte Sever qui ont été révélés il raconte quand Chaitanya Mahaprabhu il est revenu à Shantipura après cinq ans mm. pour prendre soin and the Sochi Mata his divine All his closely related associates, devotees, were eagerly, most eagerly waiting, like not just eagerly, desperately waiting, like Chataka bird, you know, when they would, they could again have darshan of their beloved Gauranga. Okay. Sa mère et ses associés, il l'a avec impatience, like, like chat Chato bard, how, that bard who doesn't drink anything other than rainwater, how do you call it? Comme, comme cet oiseau qui, qui ne boit que de la pluie. So, Mr. <coughs> Chato bard, very thirsty, can the water only from rain. Ce oiseau, même s'il a très très faim, il ne boira rien d'autre que de l'eau de pluie. For example, given waiting like Chataka bird, like so thirsty, and desperately waiting for when rain will come and can drink some water. C'est une expression que on, même quand on attend quelque chose, on, même si on a très soif, on attend juste, il attend juste l'eau de pluie. So five years after the five years later from the time Mahaprabhu took Sannyasa. Now he came back to Shantipura. All the I mean Simati Swachi Mata, all the devotees, devotees, close you know, devotees, Lord. His own mother, Sachi, desperately waiting to see him again, behold him again. As if so desperately waiting, so much hankering. And now, Lord Chaitanya to appease them, to pacify their heart. 
soon as and not only devotee as soon as this news spread like fire everywhere that their beloved lord gaurang came to shantipur or so nearby even what to speak more of the beloved devotees you know even the people they all began to see lord gaurang was a crowd assembled there just to see take a catch a glimpse of lord gaurang tout le, monde a, tout le monde, tous les associés et surtout sa mère, il l'attendait avec tellement de ferveur et il est venu pour les apaiser et quand la nouvelle s'est répandue dans tout Nadia, tout, des, des milliers de personnes sont venues en courant. All those assembled devotees and in the, even the people, general people, were chanting. Hari, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, chanting aloud. The whole area, whole surrounding got filled with the resonance of the uh, beautiful chanting of holy name of Hari, describing in that verse. Et dans ce verset, c'est expliqué que toute la place entière with the millions of voice, Koti Kanta Krishna. de millions de voix qui chantaient Hari, Hari Bol. Mm. Oh, that was the Everybody's joy knew no bound. All the assembled devotees, joy, bliss knew no bound. And Guru Maharaj was composing. That was the subject of that stanza, particular sloka. Yes. C'était le sujet de ce sloka particulier. Revealed, I found directly witnessed how they were revealing from the heart. He from the depth of Guru Maharaj's realization and just in the form of verses and Guru Maharaj simply recorded them. J'ai donc été témoin de cette révélation qu'il a eu dans son cœur de ce verset et euh, qu'il a juste mm -hmm. écrit, qui lui a été révélé. Krishna Karnamrita appeared. Thakur Billomangal did not sit down and wrote those verses. The spontaneous spontaneously appeared from the core of his heart Come Krishna uh, verses of Krishna Karnavartam uh, a reçu le Krishna Karnavartam ça qui a été révélé dans son cœur so I was the eyewitness I had that wonderful experience miraculous experience how I could directly see that how some Lines of the verses getting revealed. They are like constant. Donc été coming through, appearing through the spontaneous flow of the feelings. J'étais témoin de ces versets qui apparaissaient, qui apparaissaient spontanément comme une rivière de son cœur. And Sri Guru Maharaj simply sat down, recorded them in writing. No more cancelling. Now he feels greatly satisfied, fully satisfied. Et donc il s'est assis, il a tout écrit et il a rien rayé et il était totalement satisfait. And he felt so happy, felt so happy, joyful. After writing those verses, he could not sit down, he could not stay on his bed, okay, for for long, you know, could not keep keep on sitting, continue. Got up again and again started dancing very Et sweetly. Il était tellement heureux, tellement satisfait qu'il pouvait pas rester immobile mm. assis. Donc il s'est relevé, il a recommencé à danser. Just completely on his own. So he became so joyful, happy, he could not continue to sit down for long again. He got up, started walking a bit fast, and the fast walking. Rhythmic dancing in ecstasy. Alors, il ne pouvait pas rester assis, donc il s'est mis à, il s'est levé, il a commencé à marcher rapidement, et c'est pas au rythme, mais il a commencé à danser. And as he started dancing, dancing very artistically with little ecstatic steps. The rhythm, at some point, started crying. His 
started crying. After after some point, some point he again sat down. Après avoir dansé avec des extatiques, il s'est arrêté. Il a commencé à pleurer. Il a commencé à pleurer et après il s'est assis. He started crying in joy and singing, singing. It's just recorded. You know, when people record, write something by poetic ability, they take some time to remember. But he just got by heart. He was singing that verse while dancing. So much realization of bliss. He, 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 he pleurait de joie et he commençait à citer ce chant. Et en fait, quand on écrit un, un, un chant, il faut qu'on l'apprenne. Et lui, il le connaissait déjà par cœur et il de, de félicité. Et à un certain point, il a commencé à se briser dans les tears, en pleurant tellement, en joie. Et en juste regardant autour, ses yeux étaient comme focus somewhere. Not to a particular object, somewhere focused. I found him in that brilliant while. At some point, he came down. Sorry, some point he came back to his bed. Sad. Et et il s'est mis vraiment à pleurer. Et après, mm -hmm. autour de lui, et mm -hmm. il regardait. Je ne voyais pas, mais il regardait. Il était focalisé. Mm -hmm. Et, et il s'est retourné. Il s'est assis sur son lit. Then when he was In few moments, when he was a bit came back to normal state, I just went. I went nearby Guru Maharaj, touching his feet, touching his feet. Just asked Guru Maharaj, "What happened, Maharaj? What happened, Guru Maharaj?" Et après, il s'est calmé. Alors, je me suis approché de lui. Caresser les pieds, <coughs> je lui ai dit Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé, passé He said, You know, I just had the wonderful darshan. Il a dit le merveilleux darshan de Seigneur Goranga. I got wonderful darshan of With his sankirtana, singing and dancing. For a My heart was overwhelmed. Il a dit, je viens d'avoir le merveilleux darshan de Goranga qui était en train de chanter en sankirtan. Et mon cœur, il a été <coughs> rempli de félicité. I beheld, I beheld my golden lord Gauranga. Accompanied by all his beloved associates, chanting, singing, and dancing in the process. And what is what was described in Chaitanya Charitamrita? I had to listen for a moment. He said, for a moment, I saw Chaitanya with all his associates in train of dancing, as it is described in Chaitanya Charitamrita. I am so captivated. I am so overwhelmed. Je suis totalement captivé. Et après, il a essayé d'écrire le verset suivant. One of the miraculous, wonderful experience in my life in relation to Guru Maharaj, my Guru Maharaj. Voici une des expériences miraculeuses qui est arrivée dans ma vie. Sorry, I became emotional. Please don't take it. Yes, uh, become becoming just emotional. It's nothing. Krishna, he go to Hari Radhe Krishna. Sometimes I have some simple nature. I easily become sentimental. 
I should not become like <laughs> that. <laughs> Krishna. Now I would like, like to hear some nectar from you. <laughs> yes, yes. No time, Maharaj. No. Dis-lui que mon souhait a été comblé. He said his wish has been uh, accomplished. Comblé. Comblé. Yes. Fulfilled. Je voulais que la dernière note, ce soit lui qui la donne. He wanted you to give the last note. Je suis la Bhakti Nandan Swami Maharaj. Qui Yeah. Yeah. Donc on, on va faire l'article dans, dans deux minutes. Deux minutes, article.